I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on linear systems application. The question here is the cost for renting a car for one day and 240 kilometers is $1.39. The cost for five day rental at 900 kilometer is $1.65. Find the cost per day and the cost per kilometer. That's the question for you. Now to answer such questions, you should begin by understanding what to find. So in this particular case, it says find the cost per day and cost per kilometer. So what we will do here is we'll define our variables with let statement. So select the cost per day B D and select the cost per kilometer. Let me write small K M B K. Okay. So so D is my cost per day and K is cost per kilometer. So if I rent the car for five days, then the cost will be five D, right? Five times D. If I run nine hundred kilometers, then the cost will be K multiplied by 900 right so so that is what it is and then the units for the cost will of course be dollars so these units are in dollars you may or may not specify units when you define your variables that's all up to you an option is always better to define the units also right so that's first part now the second part is as soon as we read our statements we can write them as an equation so statement number one is cost for renting a car for one day and 240 kilometers is $39. So one day, that means one times D. So normally we don't write one, but we'll write since we want to just explain the process. So one day and means plus, right? 240 kilometers means 240K is, is equal to $39. 39 we know these costs are in dollars doesn't make sense to you so so that is how simple it is and we'll number this as our equation number one so treat this as one of the first questions which you are doing on this kind of an application and then see how it works right so relevant variables d for day k for kilometer makes sense and then read slowly and then move on as we are doing right i hope it's making sense to you second one the cost for five day rental means five D, five day rental and means plus 900 kilometers, 900 K is, is 165, 165. Is that okay? So that is the second statement which says five day rental and we get this one, right? The second statement will give it equation number. Giving equation numbers help us to communicate that's very important right now the idea is we have two different equations two variables that forms a linear system so we can always find these we can solve them by substitution or elimination in this particular case since we have 1d equals to 240k we could always write what d is in terms of k from equation number one so I'm changing this equation I'm rewriting this equation in the form that I one D so I'm not writing one now say I'm saying the variable D is equals to 39 take away 240k does it make sense to you so so we have one equation which relates the two variables I'll call this as equation number three now see what happens if I substitute three and two so now we will substitute, so I am writing sub 3. When I say sub 3, the variable D which is in terms of K in 2, in equation 2. Does it make sense to you? Let me show you how. So we have 5 here and then within brackets, I will substitute what D is. D is 39 minus 240K. Right, so that is what I mean to say. When I say substitute 3 in 2, this is what. So this I have substitute here. So 5 times 39 minus 240k plus 900k equals to 165. 
Now what we have is an equation which has only one variable. Do you see? It makes sense to you, right? Now we can actually calculate what d is. So let's open this bracket applying distributive property. So I'll multiply 5 by 39. So let me rewrite this. I'll multiply 5 by 39, then minus 5 times 240 k, okay, and then rest of the things. Correct. So I'll I use two steps to do it since that will help us to understand the whole process. Okay, so now let's do it. So we have applied distributive property here. Okay, right. So we have 5 times 39, which is equals to 195. 195 minus 240 times 5, 1200 K plus. 900k equals to 165. Now we can combine these k's and the variables. So let's bring 165 to this side. So we have 195 minus 165 equals take this the other side. We have 1200k minus 900. So sign changes. Is that okay? So let's do our maths now. So 195 minus 165 is 30, right? Okay. And 1200 minus 900 is 300. Is it okay? 300k. You can always use calculate. So what is k? What is k now? So that's simpler. So we can find k from here. Let's do it on this right side. So we further take from here to this side. So what we have here is 300k equals to 30. So when we have 300k equals to 30, k is equals to 30 divided by 300 okay and that is 0 0.01 but you can use calculator it's good to use calculator simple calculations may yield results which may not be correct so <clears throat> 0 0.1 so we don't want errors here is that okay so 0 0 cancels 3 10 so it's 1 over 10 so k is 0 0.1 so per kilometer it is charging dollar 0 0.1 or 10 cents per kilometer. Does it make sense to you? Okay. Uh, now let's find how to find uh, the other variable, which is D. Okay. We'll use equation three, but let me number this as four. We got one of the answers in four. We'll sub four in three. Okay. To get D, right? So that's the whole idea. Sub four in three. So D is equals to 39 minus 240 times what? K value, which we just found 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Is it okay? So, so let's do it. Let's use the calculator again. So we have, sorry, we have 39 minus 240 times 0 0.1, which is equals to 15. 15, right? So it is $15 per kilometer. So that is what we get here, right? So <clears throat> now let's write down the answer. It says let, it says find the cost per day and cost per kilometer. Both these costs are in dollars. So we are writing our answer here. So we say our answer is <clears throat> cost per kilometer, right? So that is we, we should write it in dollars, right? So it is dollars, 0 0.10, right? That is cost per kilometer. You could also write this dollars per kilometer like this. Do you see that? Per kilometer. That's a good way of writing. And the